Michelle Steele, and Diana Harshbarger. Welcome to you both. This is clearly a very provocative move. I'll start with you, Congresswoman Harshbarger. Your reaction? Well, this, this is, um, you know, I'm, I'm part of the China Task Force, and I didn't get an invitation. I, I'm not sure who the Republican is that went with them on this uh, trip to Taiwan, but you know, it'd look a whole lot better, uh, just like the speaker didn't take any Republicans. If they had have uh, advised us, we would have been willing to go and talk with them and talk to their leadership about the trip. Um, Congresswoman, my understanding is that the sole Republican invited was from Samoa. Um, Congresswoman Steele, your thoughts. I mean, this is a very precarious time. We're definitely involved in Ukraine. Um, again, a provocative move, and as Congresswoman Harshberger says, perhaps not as bipartisan as she would have liked to have seen. You know what? China is the, you know, biggest threat for the United States of America. And since when China dictates that U.S. officials, you know, where to go and where not to go, so they have just nothing to say. And I'm glad that, you know, people are visiting, especially Congress members are visiting to Taiwan. This just comes from Biden administration's ambiguity that they are not clear, that they are not supporting or they are supporting, you know, uh, Taiwan. So we really have to make it clear that we support Taiwan and we are not listening to China. And let's not make, you know, China thinks that they are the biggest power in the whole world. We are. All right. Well, interesting perspectives. We'll see what the reaction from the Chinese will be um, at the close of that trip. I'm so glad to have both of you on today because what's interesting to me is that you are both grandmothers in addition to members of Congress. And it's a fascinating perspective and something that I think is so wonderful to have that kind of diversity on uh, in Congress because you have this wisdom um, and this care for not just your children, but your grandchildren. I think you have a longer view because of that. So I want to talk to you. I'll start with you, uh, Congresswoman Harberger, about this poll. 70% um, of voters are predicting that life will be worse for the next generation than it is today. Your thoughts? Well, I don't doubt that. That is why I raised my hand and said, pick me uh, in 2020, because, you know, the greatest privilege of my life, Rachel, is being a wife, a mother, and a grandmother. It teaches you patience. It gives you perspective, and it shows you how to prioritize everything in your life. And, you know, I've been a pharmacist for 36 years and a business owner, and I've taken care of people at a local level. And I've seen what overregulation of the government can do to small businesses and just to American families. And the bottom line is this. I do believe that. I have grandsons, and I've mentored young people my whole life. I taught Sunday school for 24 years, and that was middle schoolers. And if you can teach middle schoolers for 24 years, Congress is nothing. So <laughs> we need more grandmas to stand up and say, mm -hmm. you know, we're taking our country back. And so I that's why I did what I did. More, more grandmothers and more Sunday school teachers. I'm all for that. All right. Uh, Congresswoman Steele, your thoughts. Um, what concerns you as a grandmother um, who happens to be a member of Congress? You know what? I came to this country when I was 19. Never thought that I'm running for the public office. But since my mother was actually, uh, you know, abused by tax agency was the reason that, you know, I decided to fight against this government the abuse. And, you know, I achieved the American dream. I came to this country, nine, you know, when I was 19, and I want all of my grandchildren, my children and grandchildren, to achieve American dream was the reason that I came here. You know what? We just passed $700 billion of reconciliation. Uh, out of that, that $225 billion is going to be tanked tax increases, and $250 billion are going to use for environmental impact. You know what? We really have to stop raising taxes during the inflation. This is not really time, and this is not really good. I'd like to play so this. So I'm, I'm stopping in this. Uh, great. I want to play this clip. This is from another grandmother. Her name is Tina Kasten. She's a retiree. And here's what she's going through in this economy. Listen. I thought I'd be flying all over the country in the world by now. I retired and started volunteering for Goodwill, the state of Arizona. Um, 
whole, you know, kitchens, food kitchens, and things like that. I don't. I'm not at the liberty again to pay for travel back and forth to volunteer when I'm not getting paid. I need some compensation now. I'm going back to getting a resume put together so it can be current and attractive and hireable. I need to go back to work. Do you find that? Ladies, that is reality for a lot of re retirees. I don't have a lot of time, but I'd love to get both of your reaction to that. I'll start with you, Congressman Woman Harberger. Well, this is the sentiment all across the country. People are having to go back to work. This is a generation who says, I'm going to get up, I'm going to work, I'm going to pay my bills, and I'm not going to depend on the government to take care of me. You know, that's the sentiment, and that's why we're here. We, we honestly, you know, I was the first one in my family to graduate from high school or college, and I know what hard work means. And we want to stand up for those Americans that have no voice in, or say so when it comes to their future. And this is unbelievable that someone who's a grandmother has to go back to work, can't do what they want to do. I could be sitting on my front porch at the farm playing with my grandsons, but what did I do? I'm here in Congress trying to bring common sense to an uncommon uh, government. So that's why I'm here. And Michelle Steele is a dear friend, and we, we share the same sentiment about our country, or we wouldn't be here. Yeah, well, you're part of a growing number of, of women, um, grandmothers who are deciding to step up and serve. We thank you both for joining us today. Hope you're inspiring other women and men to have a third act. Uh, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thanks for All right. inviting us. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.